Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to make a top-down 2D controller in uh, Godot 4. So first off, just make sure you have your new Godot 4 project opened. And you're going to be starting off in the 3D scene. Uh, that doesn't matter, you can quickly switch to the 2D scene and just title it whatever you want. You can title it, you know, main or like first level or whatever you want. You can name it that, go ahead and, and control S. And save it. Uh, you can put it into a specific folder if you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you save it, then you're gonna want to run it once. You're gonna select the current scene, which is the main scene that you just made, and it will boot up for the first time. It might take a minute depending on your hardware, but once you do that, it will load up faster. Every time I notice, uh, it's just the initial startup that takes a little bit longer. So now we're going to create a character body 2D, which they got rid of the kinematic body 2D and replaced it with this node. So we're going to go ahead and add that. We're going to name it player. And then we can go ahead and add a couple nodes to this. First off, we want a camera, which now is defaulted to enabled. Uh, you no longer have to select that, which is nice. And you can add a you can either a sprite 2d node or a color rect but it is recommended to use a sprite 2d just so that way you can you know eventually change it to a custom sprite and i'm going to quickly add a collision shape set that to box and scale it up by dragging these to your sprite and whatever sprite you have, you can custom scale this. And now we're going to, before we add any code, we have to set up our input maps. So we're gonna go project settings, input map. We need to add, you know, W, A, S, and D. So let's go up, down, left, and right. Okay, so I just added these and you can press add and you just type in the key that you want and it'll set it to the W and you press OK. You can do that for all these. Okay, and then now you can close that out. Next, we are going to add a player script to this. And in Godot 4, it gives you some default code. We don't need the majority of this. We only need the speed variable and we can delete basically the rest temporarily i'm gonna say pass in this so we can go to add some stuff so we need a move direction variable that will tell us what direction we are moving in it's just a vector two we can name move dir you can name it whatever you want um but i just name it move dir because it's you know the move direction and that's a vector two. Next, we are going to do a movement function. You can put the movement function code into the physics process if you want, but I like to keep it clean and make a separate function to handle the movement controls. So we just do that and we're gonna pass that in to physics, the physics process. And then so this will call every frame. And in here, we're going to check uh, every key press. So we're going to be checking if we are pressing one of the input maps. So first off, we're going to check if input dot is action pressed right. And we're going to be setting the move direction accordingly. So if we do move direction and we're setting it on the X axis, since we are moving horizontally, we will set that to a value of one. And now we will be doing the same thing for left, except for on the left, we will be doing the negative one. Okay. And we will also be checking for up and down. So up. Oops. Up. We'll get a Y value of negative one and the down 
we will get the value of 1. And these are both on the y-axis since we're moving vertically. Now we also need to check if we are not pressing these keys because right now we are not setting back to zero. So what we want to do is check if we are not pressing right and we are not pressing left. Okay, and then we're going to be setting the move direction x back to zero. That way we don't continue moving in the last direction we pressed. And we can do the exact same thing for the y value. So up and down. Okay. And now we need to actually use this movement to move our character. Since right now we're just setting a value, it's not going to actually move our character. So we're going to be using a built-in function into Godot called move and collide. We're going to pass in the move direction and we're going to normalize it. Since we are multiplying this value by the speed, if you do not normalize it, your speed will increase if you're pressing, uh, if you're going diagonally. So if you're pressing up and right, you'll be going faster than if you were just pressing right. So to get rid of that, we can normalize. And, and it's up to you if you want to do this. You, you, you can have that be a mechanic in your game, but most games want it to be the be a consistent speed across all, all directions. So we're going to normalize it. We're going to multiply the speed value. And we have to apply it we have to multiply it by delta, which we don't have access to delta since that's in the physics process. So we're going to make a variable and we're going to pass it in the top. So this is a argument and we pass in delta, which will set this D value. And we just multiply by that D value. And now if we run this, we can see that by, pre by pressing W, A, S, and D, we're moving. Uh, you can't actually see that we're moving because we don't have any objects around us. So what we can do is create a sprite that we can put besides, besides a character. Let me quickly set that. We can set that. And then if we take the visibility, you can change it. You can offset its color. Okay. Now we can actually see where our player is moving in relation to the surroundings. Otherwise, you know, you, you're just moving up against a blank background. So now you can see that we can move around. And you will notice that as we move diagonally, you're moving the same speed as if you're moving up and all those other directions. If you want to go on top of this, you just have to set the layer. And now you're on top of it. So anyways, guys, if this was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.